Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the math portion of the revised GRE. We have been solving problems, math problems, out of this book here the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. It is important that you have this book with you, in front of you. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it in order to follow my work. Turn to page number 113 and you will see on that page the problem that I'm about to solve. We are given two quantities. First of all, on the very top of the page, on the very top of the page, you see they give you they give you something here in column A they give you something a quantity and in column B they give you some quantity and your job is to compare this quantity with that quantity but always pay attention make sure there is nothing on the top here if there is some information on the top that pertains to the whole thing they, they, they usually tell you something here about these two quantities here we are told that this Y is more than 4 we are told the y is more than 4. I'm going to point it to you. See if you can see it here. Right on the very top of the page it tells you y is more than 4. And then we are asked to compare the two quantities. The quantities that we are asked to compare are 3y, 3y plus 2 over 5, 3y plus 2 over 5 versus y. Now before, before we do this thing, let me ask you this question here. Here's the quantity, column A and column B. 15 over 3 versus 6. Which column is bigger? 15 over 3 versus 6. Now you could actually compute the two quantities the way they are presented to you. Figure out what 15 over 3 is and then tell me that 5, 15 over 3 is 5 which is less than 6. We could do that. That's one way of doing it, because these are numbers, we can do them, but if they happen to be variable, then we cannot actually do anything. x over 3 is just x over 3. So then how do you get rid of this 3 then from the bottom? So another way to tackle this situation is to multiply this quantity by 3 and multiply this quantity by 3. And as long as you do the same thing to both quantities in the both columns, you're not changing the problem. Unless, of course, you happen to multiply or divide by a negative number. Do not, do not multiply or divide the two quantities by a negative number. And I will show you I will show you in a second why. But as long as you as long as you multiply the two quantities by a positive number, or you can add the, two, the same quantity to both columns, or you can subtract the same quantity from both columns, you're not going to change anything. So if you multiply both quantities by three, this three drops out now, and what we're left is the fact that 15 is less than 18. You see, the answer did not change. 15 is less than 18. The answer is B. Before also the answer was B because 15 over 3 would have been 5 and 5 would have been less than 6. The answer did not change. Now let's talk about a couple of other scenarios. I, I said that we can add or subtract the same numbers from both columns and it doesn't change anything. For example, column A, column B. Here I have 1 plus 2 and here I have 3. That's not a good example actually. Here I have 5. Which column is bigger? Of course column B is bigger. But if I were to add 4 to this column, because I'm adding 4 to the first column, I must add 4 to the other column. And the answer will not change. The answer, answer would still be B. It doesn't change anything. We are asked to compare the two quantities. Quantity B, quantity in column B is still bigger. Because 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 is less than 9. If I were to subtract 4 from both columns, It's not going to change anything because 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 minus 4 is negative 1, and negative 1 is less than positive 1. The answer will still be. But you mustn't go around multiplying or dividing the two quantities in the two columns by a negative number. I'll show you why. 
which column is bigger? Of course column B is bigger. 3 is bigger than 2. But what if I were to multiply this column by 4 and this column by 4? Which quantity is bigger? Well, column B is still bigger. Because 3 times 4 is 12 and 4 times 2 is 8, the column B is still bigger. But if, what if we were to multiply both columns by negative 4? A negative 4 times a 2 is negative 8 and a negative 4 times a 3 is a negative 12. Now the answer changed. Negative 8 is bigger than negative 12. The answer changed. Quantity in column B is no longer larger. We cannot do that. We cannot change. That's the whole point. We're trying to figure out which, quanti which quantity is bigger. So if you want to manipulate them, you have to manipulate in such a way that it doesn't change the integrity of the problem. If the quantity in column B is bigger, it should remain bigger no matter what sort of mathematical manipulation you do. Therefore, you cannot multiply or divide the two quantities in the two columns by a negative number because it changes the direction of the inequality. For example, let's do the division part. Let's do the one about division. For example, which column is bigger? 10 or 12? Of course, 12 is bigger. What if I were to multiply both columns by 2? Well, column B is still bigger because 12 divided by 2 is 6 and 6 is still bigger than 5. But what if I were to divide the both quantities by negative 2? 10 divided by negative 2 is a negative 5. 12 divided by negative 2 is a negative 6. And now the answer is A because negative 5 is in fact bigger, larger than negative 6. So as I said, do not multiply or divide the two quantities by a negative number. I'm looking at, I'm, I, I look a little distracted, that's because I'm looking for another black marker. This thing is dying. And I have tons of them. And, the po and I make a point of buying tons of them so that I, when I need one, I cannot find any. That's the whole idea. I see a blue one. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to multiply both columns by 5. And since we are multiplying it by a uh, positive number, we can do that. So let's multiply. Multiply both columns by 5. 3y plus 2 over 5 versus y. Multiply this column by 5, multiply this column by 5. So this 5 drops out. 5 times y is 5y, and here we have 3y plus 2. 3y plus 2. Let's carry on. I need the room, so I'm going to continue at the top. So that was the first step. This is step 1. Step 2. So we have this quantity here. 3y plus 2 versus 5y. Let's subtract 2 from both columns. Subtract 2 from both columns. This is really annoying me, the black marker. Just give me one second. Okay? Just one minute. Let's use the blue one. Subtract 2 from both columns. So here we have 3y plus 2 and 5y. Subtract 2 from both columns. A positive 2. Positive 2 and negative 2 will drop out. Here we are left with 3y and here we are left with 5y. That's not going to get us anywhere. That's not what I meant to do. So that's not getting us anywhere. Now that 2 end up, ends up here. That's not what I meant to do. Subtracting 2 from both sides is not going to do anything. Let's subtract 3y from both sides so that this 3y disappears and here we end up with just a number and here we end up with one of y's. 
subtract 3y subtract 3y from both columns subtract 3y from both columns well now that's going to get us somewhere because here we have positive y here we have a negative 3y positive 3y will cancel out with negative 3y here we end up with 2 and here positive 5y and a negative 3y is going to give us positive 2y let's continue Step number three, divide both columns by two. Divide both columns by two. So here we have two, here we have two y. Divide both columns by two. And we can do all of that. It is perfectly legal. If, if you ask me which number is bigger, 10 or, or 12, I can tell you 12 is bigger than 10 or I can divide both columns by 2 and this column, this quantity will still be bigger quantity column B will still be bigger, it doesn't change anything as long as I divide both columns by same quantity same positive quantity that is remember you cannot divide or multiply by negative quantity you're not changing anything 2 divided by 2 is 1 and here we have 2y divided by 2 and that's going to cancel out and we'll end up with y. Which quantity is bigger? 1 or y? Well, keep in mind, it's, it's gone now, but keep in mind, I'm going to put it here. Keep in mind that in the very beginning, on the very top of the problem, on the very top of the problem, we were told that y is more than 4. Well, if y is more than 4, then y is more than 4. Which quantity is bigger? 1 or y, which we are told, is more than 4. Well, if, it's y, if y is more than 4, then y would have to be more than 1. The answer is b. Which one is bigger, 1 or something that is more than 4? Obviously, something more than 1 is bigger than 1. Or something that is more than 4, rather, is going to be more than 1 also. The answer is b. Now, in the book, in the book, if you read the solutions that they give you, they ask you to over, redo all the steps in reverse order and, and they give you this mumbo jumbo mumbo jumbo you don't have to do that part you can stop right here which one is bigger one or y of course y is bigger y is bigger than one because we know that y is bigger than four if y is bigger than four y has got to be bloody well bigger than one that's all the answer is b that's it i will see you tomorrow on day number five when we will do a problem which appeared in one of the old exam as the most difficult quantitative comparison question and 80% of the people 80% of the people who took the exam missed the question the question that I'm talking about is the one that appears on the next page on page number 114 we'll do that question tomorrow on day number 5 but as far as today is concerned we are done I hope you followed the logic and so forth you can do all of this uh, manipulation as long as you treat both columns in the same manner Always remember, do not deal with negative, do not mess with negative numbers, do not divide or multiply the two quantities by negative number because it changes the direction of the inequalities, it changes if, if quantity in column A is bigger than quantity in column B and if you multiply both quantities by both quantity, uh, the two quantities in the two columns by a negative number, it will mess up the whole thing. So don't deal with negative numbers, alright? We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.